WhatsApp has become such an important part of our lives. And premium add-ons bring a widget that makes it one, two, three, as easy as that to include a plugin on your site for people to contact you directly on your number or even in a group chat. Let's go have a look at how easy it is to add this widget to either a pro or free version of Elementor. Well, in here, I've got a site here. It's like a legal site. And now I want to add a WhatsApp contact over here for the read more plus contact us. I'm just going to style it a little bit. I want those two buttons to be next to each other. So grab that one in there, grab it a little bit. And now I search in my search widget for WhatsApp, premium WhatsApp chat, drag it and drop it over here. And you will see it draws the color from my predetermined colors here in my color picker. So if you wonder where that color is coming from, why it is different than yours, then it's because I've set up a different color scheme over here. I'm going to style this and the first one, click on button and bring it to the left. Now to get your corners as nicely rounded as this, you have a different feature in this one under style called border radius slider. And if you drag it all the way to 100, then you have those smooth round corners. Now it's going to draw the color from your palette, but you have to decide, do you want to leave it like this or do you want to display the standard WhatsApp green? If that is the case, find a WhatsApp logo somewhere online and go drag the green from that. I've got my color picker eyedropper here and I'm going to hover over it, click, then control C for copy or command C, go back here, click on it, style, and then for background color, paste it over here. And there we go. Now, why it doesn't still look like WhatsApp is because you have to consider that everything inside it is white. And then also do that for the icon. Right, now that is your styling in a nutshell. And how do you activate and get this thing to work? That's also just a one step process. For a private individual like just me, if you are just working with this website all by yourself and you are one person and you want them to contact you, you add it in here. And you have to add, of course, international plus for your dialing number. So I'm just gonna add here plus 88965 something like that. Now, when people are going to use it, they will be able to send you a message. You have a second option, and that is that you can have a group chat. Now, the group one is different because maybe in your company you have a small sales team or you have a small contact team or a service team, then you will create a group for that. And now you have to add the group ID over here. To do that, you click here and you go watch this video on YouTube and it will explain to you where to get the group ID in your WhatsApp. And then once you got that, you return here, you paste it here. And when people click on this, it will contact the entire group. Let's just have a look at the front quickly so I can show you how it will work if somebody were to access this on a PC or on a Mac. And that is that it will open the WhatsApp web function. And that means that they will have to log in on the web. So if I click on it, you will see it opens this page. And then now you have to add it here from the site. If you were on a phone like Android or iOS, it will just open WhatsApp directly on your phone. So this feature from premium add-ons is mostly suited for mobile devices. And I think, of course, if you are on a mobile device, this will be very easy. Of course, Facebook Messenger included plugins have also become very popular, actually more popular than the WhatsApps. But I do like this option. It is something that you can highly consider. A few more styling options if we go to button is that you can also decide where you want it to be fixed. You can have it float or you can have it fixed at a specific area on the page. I like this one. So if you want to leave it here or you want to add it maybe just at the bottom, then consider whether you want to have it float or not. You can also give it offset. So if you want to move it around to different areas on your page, I would recommend for this, drag it back to the beginning, put it on percentage. This will make it very easy because if you put it now on 50%, it's going to be 50%. And this one, if you style it all the way, to 100 it's going to go up there into crazy where you cannot see it 
Right, so percentage is going to make far more sense with this if you are using it like this. And then you can, of course, here I would say, what's up us? So that people have a better idea of what will happen when they click on this feature. A vertical offset, let's give it a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're up to there, uh, there. The icon is very important. The other thing that you can also do that I think is a very interesting feature is to delete the text. And now you only have the WhatsApp button over there. So what you can do now is increase the icon size and you can make it look like a circle. And what I found, the problem is that if you want to have it a nice circle, you have to increase it quite a bit. Uh, this is quite big at this moment, but actually it's not that intrusive even if that is the purpose of your site, to have people easily contact you. It's still not a perfect circle. So what I did, and these kind of things can really bother me, is I went over here to the padding and I added my own padding across it. Okay, and then I started styling it from here. Let's make the padding a little bit smaller, 15. And then on the sides, yeah, I, I did this. I went in one by one. I made my padding until I thought I achieved my perfect circle. <laughs> yes. And you, you know, sometimes nothing is perfect and beautiful. It's not like the, the nicest icing on the cake, but when you get the job done, you get the job done. Very nice feature from premium add-ons, the WhatsApp widget that you can add to your site. And really, you saw how I did that. Drag it, drop it, style it, and add your telephone number. This is an affiliate link in the description below. What that means is that if you consider to buy this add-on pack from Premium, then it would be very nice if you can use the link because I will get a little something, but you won't be paying anything extra for that. This is JP here with Websites for Beginners.